Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, we really don't see a lot of guys in MMA with boxing skills on this level. He certainly could have gone on to great things as a professional boxer, but he believes he has the best hands in the sport, and he will be looking to prove as much here tonight. And he has the background to prove that, right? He's not saying something that is not true. He does have the ability to say that. He can say he has the best hands in the game because he has shown it. And when you watch him box, when you watch a guy go into a fight with this young man and think, that it does not matter what his credentials are. He is going to stand with him and prove that he's better. They usually will go to sleep because no action is wasted. The jab starts it all. He fights behind this beautiful, educated jab, jabbing high, jabbing low, and then the overhand right is unbelievable. It's his kill shot, he calls it, and he lands it all the time. All right, so here he is, the inimitable last style bender, Israel Adesanya, still undefeated as a mixed martial artist. DC, you tried to bring him in to emulate John Jones back in the day, and he's such a meticulous, thoughtful guy that he said no because Luke Rocco was in that gym and he thought he might have to fight him one day. He knew that at some point he would reach Luke Rocco in his division, so he said, you know what? I want to help you, DC, but I can't because of what's going to happen going forward in my career. He did not want to put Luke or himself in such an awkward situation. How about forward thinking? How about I'm forward thinking that that would have come to pass only a few short years later? But in Israel Adesanya, you also have the mentality, but the fighting ability to become a UFC champion in only 12, 13 months. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. All right, now for the official Ladies introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of New Delhi, India, Ebo Way. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 23 wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. So here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is gonna be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Big Paul punch land. Now he gets back to range. Ooh. And he landed the right hand there. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Now Adesanya mixing it up a little bit. We'll see what he can offer on the canvas. I mean, he can do it all. He's long told us that he has a great ground game. Nobody has forced him to use it yet. Let's see what he does with this position. Oh, and a nice jab by him there. And that's going to give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. 
He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Big kick lands. Another shot lands upstairs. Punch coming, it's blocked. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. And he continues to work on the inside of that lead leg. Ooh, what a punch. Look at how he drives his knee right into his opponent's midsection. Staying busy. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it. And you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. So 33 total strikes have landed for Israel Adesanya. I mean, look at the commitment to kick this fight. Who blocks the shots? He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Nice head kick. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Beautiful strike there by Israel Adesanya. He's got a lifetime in the game, not a lifetime in the UFC, but you see, this is a lifelong striker who is very dangerous with all of Yeah, and when you're standing with Izzy, you're in trouble, man. You're under constant attack the whole time because you never know what he's going to hit you with. And right there, he lands the strike that he was looking for. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Nice kick. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Adesanya. Side control now. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from bottom. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensively. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Lands the grounded pound strike here. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Final seconds of round one. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Adesanya. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Not there. Let's relax. Excellent work. All those rounds on the pads in the gym have paid off. Now we're going to continue. Keep doing exactly what we did. Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh. Round two underway. Adesanya's uppercut is blocked. Looked like for a minute he had a window there. It closed quickly. Right punches there. 
big punch lands through the middle. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're gonna sit there at the drive through <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Just out of range with the big right hand. Leg kick checked nicely by Adesanya. Just unable to quite find that range. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to half length, of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Checks the leg kick. A oh, little single collar tie there. Just over three minutes to go. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Nice punch lands over the top. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. He got the turnover in that kick. Connects now with the one-two. Look at the force behind that leg kick. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away. And it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Oh, collar tie. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Well, not a ton behind it, but that knee landed right on the target. And again, for the taller fighter, making it look easy as he raises that limb up top. Nice straight punch. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. All right, single collar tie now. Nice slip to avoid the left. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Israel Adesanya gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. That was a thudding leg kick. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here, and they separate. Beautiful punch. Beautiful body kick. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also oh! very good. He's mixed up his target, he's throwing kicks, he's throwing punches. He's unbelievable. He's hurt bad. Well, he's got his back now. Well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, that right hand is right on the All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent 
allowed him to stay in the fight. But he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. Lands a punch there. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. And he continues to work the body here. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Adesanya. There's the kick, it's blocked. She has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Nice loop and punch. Oh, lands another punch there. Not a mean guy, he's just doing the smart thing. Oh, he yeah. has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make him pay for it. Oh! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Trying to guard pass here. Not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. And he is back up to his feet. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. So the taller fighter lands a flush knee. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh! All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Oh! Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Oh! He's out! Oh, my goodness! What a fight! Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near-perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. Back at the highlights, you know we're gonna find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 35 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Israel, the last title bender, And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight.